Greetings, Earthlings, and welcome to Star Citizen Pre-Alpha. Today is January 3rd, 2014, at least at the time of this recording anyway, so happy belated New Year to you. I hope your 2014 is a happy, healthy, and prosperous one. So what have I been doing the first three days of 2014? Well, you are looking at it right now, my friends. I have purchased spaceships and a hangar. And we're going to take a look at these spaceships one at a time. We're going to get inside. We're going to kick the proverbial tires, as it were. And we're going to talk about this game, Star Citizen, and how you, too, can have your own very special spacecraft with hangar for only 40 low dollars. And in fact, that's what I want to do in this video, guys, is just give you an idea of what, uh, what this game is all about, just very briefly, and then show you the three packages that are available to you uh, as a pledger. So basically, um, Star Citizen is still in development. It's, this is pre-alpha. It's not even really a game. I can't even take these ships out and fly them yet, although that is going to be um, coming down the pike pretty soon. I think in April they're going to be adding the dogfighting module, which means we'll be able to hop in our ship and go out and fight other players. Uh, but let me back up a little bit. So Star Citizen is a uh, game in development by uh, Cloud Imperium Games, and lead design is Chris Roberts, who was named to f uh, claim to fame is uh, probably Wing Commander from 1990, which I played as a well, I was right out of college in 1990, so you guys might have just been you know, youngsters, but I played it way back when. It was a space simulation game, very beloved. It is a classic, and I suppose you could say this is sort of the uh, the spiritual successor to that, with the one gigantic exception or addition I suppose is that this is going to be a multiplayer game so this is going to be kind of an MMO you know a massively multiplayer online RPG with space simulation I'll say that 20 times fast and basically what that means is we'll be able to hop in our ship here or multiple ships um, well, one at a time. You can't fly two ships at once, but you know what I mean. You can have more than one ship. Um, you, you take your ship out, and you go out into the galaxy and do what you do. You take on a role. You know, it is a role-playing game, so you can decide if you want to be a smuggler or a bounty hunter or maybe a pirate or maybe you want to be a good guy and do search and rescue or escort missions or maybe you just want to trade. Maybe you just want to go from planet to planet, pick up some goods, travel around, or maybe just explore the galaxy and find new things that no one else has ever found, right? So these are some of the roles that you'll be able to partake in based on your particular playstyle and how you play role-playing games, mostly. And it's going to be obviously a sci-fi game. It's going to take place in space, and there's going to be some player versus environment content. And there's going to be some PvP content as well. So player versus player. Now, um, before we go any farther, let me just tell you what the game, uh, the game's requirements are. The game is a beast. It requires a beastly computer. First of all, it is being made for PC only. There's no Mac. There's no Linux version. There probably never will be. And it requires a, a relatively modern gaming computer, something that has been built within the last year and a half or so, and it does have to be a Windows PC with a 64-bit edition of Windows, so either 7 or 8, and uh, at least 8 gigabytes of memory. That is the required amount. So if you're still with us, then let us continue. I'm going to tell you the very exact steps on how to get involved in this game. You know, how to make a pledge, get your spaceship, get into the pre-alpha, which you can get immediately. Once you make your pledge, you get your ship and you get your hangar. I did this yesterday, guys, and I downloaded it immediately, and here I am. Bam! Dressed up like Han Solo. I've got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> and uh, that's literally how much time it took. Is once I downloaded it, hopped in, played, and here we are. Um, so, let's talk about... Uh, how to make a pledge. So basically, the game is being crowdfunded, 100% crowdfunded. It's at $36 million last time I checked on the website, which I will put a link to down below in the description if you want to go check this stuff out. There's so much information about this game. 
so much. I mean, I have just kind of latched onto it in the last day or two, and I'm already blown away by it. I'm just looking at this ship, and I'm just I'm just caressing it right now. I'm in love. Look at the detail on this. There's actually like scratches and mars, right? There's little blemishes and blotches and glare, like the glare. Once we get inside, you can see it's the glare really clearly. You can barely see it there. It's just gorgeous. And with Chris Roberts at the helm and $36 million, I mean, the sky is the limit. So basically what you need to do is if you want to get involved in in the uh, early access, you need to make a pledge now. And the the uh, the alpha and beta accounts are limited. I think it's down to like 17,000 left. And you might laugh and say, oh my gosh, there's no rush. But let me tell you something. I think the last time I checked, it was a day or two ago. It was something like 24,000 accounts. They're going fast, several thousand per day. And, I mean, you can certainly wait if you wish. You know, a lot of people say, hey, you know what, I'll just buy the game when it comes out. I don't really want to get involved. And that's, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But there are perks if you purchase now. You know, the biggest per perk, obviously, is if you purchase, you make a pledge now. Um, let's just hop in and take a look, huh? If you, uh, if you pledge now, you'll get access to the game immediately. You get this hangar module, and then when the dogfighting module comes out in April, you'll be able to hop in your ship and go out and fly and fight and gain experience. From what I understand, this might only be a rumor, but I did read everything you gain. Well, maybe not everything. I should, you know, take everything I say with a grain of salt here, first of all, because this is alpha, and I'm, you know, there's a, a lot of this is subject to change, but things that you earn in the dogfighting, I think experience is one of them, you will be able to retain that when the full game is out. So that's, there's another perk. Um, and finally, a uh, you know, third perk would be price. When the game is released, it's going to be 60 bucks. And this, again, is rumor. This could, is subject to change. But um, if you pledge right now, you can get the game for 20 Can I scroll out? Oh, I can. This is all new to me, guys. Oh, there I am in the cockpit. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can I? Oh, darn. I can't move. Okay. I thought I could swivel. Oh, here we go. Yeah. So the, the, the lowest amount that you can pledge to get access to the alpha and the beta turn your head man would be um let me see if i use wasdy oh look at me i'm using this i'm using the flight controls that is amazing we is uh 45 bucks i'm sorry 40 dollars 40 dollars uh four zero and that and this is the ship that you get for 40 bucks right here and you get this uh this very hanger too which is the discount hanger the three styles of hanger and um your hanger will be determined based on the ship that you purchase in the package so for 40 bucks you get this ship and you get access to the alpha and beta and uh now there's one one very important consideration when if you go to the website and you make a pledge and i'm going to walk through the whole process here in a second let's just get out of that animation let's go over here i want to show you one more thing um a very important consideration is that there is a, a cheaper package it's 30 dollars and you get the same one. You get this ship. This this is called the Aurora MR. So for thirty bucks, you will get this, and you will get the hangar module, and you'll be able to climb around just like I'm doing right now. But read the fine print. You do not get access to Alpha and Beta. So that's it, man. You're cut off if you do the thirty dollar deal. You're cut off after this, which is a shame. So you have to spend the forty, which still is not a bad price. I mean, that's the going rate for a computer game anyway. Of course, you're going to get the game when the game is released. You don't have to buy it again. Just, I just want to make that clear. You pay now. You make your pledge, forty bucks or forty-five or whatever. You will get the game when it's released. You get, um, you know, you get a code. Uh, so let's um, let's head out. I think I can just hop out without doing these silly animations. There we go. It's just beautiful. Um, so there's that. So why don't we talk about the packages and I'll tell you, uh, I'll show you what you get for your money. So the first package is $40. If you want the alpha access, alpha beta access. Now also keep in mind guys that this game is going to be in development for a good 18 months, probably minimum. So we're talking another year and a half to two years. So if you want to wait, feel free. You don't have to buy it now, but if you want to start playing around with this thing and maybe, you know, earning and getting good, and knowledgeable about things and maybe you know coming up with some uh, character history and and getting into that kind of fun 
then now's a good time to do it, so make your pledge. But anyway, uh, and, and no, I'm not getting anything for this. <laughs> I'm not, like, getting any commission or anything. I just think it's going to be awesome. That's all. I'm just really excited. Uh, so for your $40 pledge, you will get this ship right here, the Aurora MR, which is a fine, fine craft. It's extremely versatile. Um, it's going to be good for, uh, you know, just basic exploration. It does have some guns for defenses. I think it's got four upgrade op uh, slots. So they, they call them hard points in the game. And, and again, I've only been reading about this stuff for the past two days. So um, anything I say here, just do your own due diligence because I might not be correct. And I'll probably come back and do more videos about the actual individual ships and we'll, we'll look at them more closely. But just in general, just to give you an idea what you're going to get for your 40 bucks is you'll get this MR. And again, it's a, uh, I think a lot of people are going to start their careers on the MR or the uh, slightly upgraded MR um, LN, uh, Aurora LN, my bad. This is the Aurora um, MR. Um, and this will get you out into space. It has the bed, which not a lot of ships do, in fact. And that, sh that bed is going to be critical when you want to go on long-range hauls or exploration expeditions. And you want to log out while you're in space. You cannot do that in a single-seater. Uh, some of the spaceships don't have beds. You have to actually fly to a nearby base to log out in. So that is a consideration. And... You know, I, money shouldn't be your only consideration. You should really think about the role that you want to play because a lot of these ships sort of are defined or will define your play style or are defined by your play style. I guess both ways, right? So the ship that you get will be how you play the game and will support how you decide to play the game. So let's, you know, a couple of scenarios. Let's say you want to be a smuggler, all right? So you want to... Uh, you want to um, you want to transport contraband, you know, illicit goods from one place to another, and you don't want to get caught. And when you make your delivery, you know, you're going to be working for crime bosses like Jabba the Hutt. And when you make your delivery, you are going to get a nice hefty paycheck. Now, if you want to be a smuggler, you're going to want a ship with a low profile, right? You don't want some massive s starship. You know, you don't want the Millennium Falcon, even though Han used it. But in this game, that would have a huge signature. And it would be easy to track and scan. Now, this ship, you know, so you want something small and fast and something that has a lot of cargo. Um, and with some capability of defending itself, of course, from bounty hunters that be, clearly will be hunting you down. So, in that case, you might want a ship like this or maybe something a little faster. Which might be the 300i over there, which we're going to take a look at. So, you know, that's something to consider when you decide to make your pledge. Kind of think about the role you want to play, because that could be important. Now, you can always trade your ships in. In fact, I didn't start with these ships. I had a monster of a ship, and I traded it, traded it in, got credits for it, and I, I threw all three of these in this hangar. Uh, because I wanted to make this video and show you guys. So rather than start at the top and work my way down, I decided I'll start at the bottom and work my way up. And we'll look, take a look at some of the other um, high class, you know, the high expensive ships later, too. So now for $45, you can get the upgraded Aurora. This is the Aurora LN, also known as the Legionnaire. And this one's outfitted a bit more for combat. And I think speed. This one has, um, I think this one has an upgraded power plant. The power plant's the engine, as opposed to the MR. And it also has an additional hard point. The hard points are these... Uh, locations on the ship that can be upgraded and this one has five hard points so you can actually you know remove these guns and put new guns on and all of this of course you'll be able to purchase um in the game through game cash you know you'll be able to upgrade your ship as you play the game you're going to be earning credits of course you'll be doing you know maybe you're a bounty hunter and you hunt down a smuggler and you bring them in and you get uh, you get a reward for that and you can probably take his stuff too and sell it, right? Because it's yours once you take him, take him in. Now, if you're a bounty hunter, you're going to want to make sure you have a ship that has some pretty decent guns. It's pretty fast and has tracking ability, right? I don't know if this one does, but you can probably add some features that do that. I do know of one that has super tracking ability, and that is the uh, F7C, I think it's called, the Hornet. And I, I might get one of those to share that with you at another time. 
So you're going to be able to track someone down, you know, disable the, the, the vehicle, disable their, their spacecraft, and then board it. Of course, the Hornet doesn't have any boarding capability. This one, um, that's what this this uh, collar is for here, because we can board other ships. So you could actually be a mercenary or bounty hunter in this ship. It may not be the best for it, but it certainly does allow you to play that style. I mean, any ship, you can play any way you want with any ship. It just might not be the best for the job. But this one, for example, does have this uh, exterior door, so you could actually board another ship after you disable it and then apprehend whoever's in it, right? So anyway, this is a little bit more of a military style, a light patrol style um, Aurora, and it's only $45. So five bucks more you get this one as opposed to the MR over there. And it has a custom paint job. <sighs> Man, I mean, it's dirty. <laughs> the attention to detail is just remarkable in this game. It's just remarkable. And this is only pre-alpha. It's amazing. This has some missiles up on top, too. Uh, um, I think I can get on top. If I get up on that catwalk in my... Um, yeah, there's a catwalk up there. I think I might be able to hop down on top of this thing. And... Yeah, I can do some funky stuff with the views. Um, I'm still learning here, guys. This is really new to me. But I, I just can't wait. I mean, I'm all in. I'm all in here. Okay, so there's that ship. And now we have the next one in line for the pledge would be $65. So only $5 more than the actual retail. But of course, you get alpha access immediately. Alpha and beta access. And a couple other perks, too. There's some other stuff that comes with these packages. You just have to look at the website. I don't... I, I, don't, I didn't memorize them. Um, they all come with insurance, too. And this insurance thing is really interesting. Your ships can be insured. Um, and you'll have to pay for that through, obviously, in-game money. And if you pay the insurance on your ship and it gets lost or destroyed or stolen, the insurance will pay pay you back. Either replace the ship or give you cash. I don't know how that's going to work, but it will cover you as long as you have your insurance. And that opens up some opportunities for some wonderful role play because you don't have to buy insurance if you don't want to. And you can probably even pull off some kind of insurance fraud. So you can either be the fraudulent criminal or you can hunt down fraudulent criminals for the insurance companies and potentially get paid for it. Now, oh, where am I going? Go back down. Now, let's talk about the 300i. So this is the 300i is the base model in the 300 series. It's made by a different corporation. And I just love that. I love the lore here. So this corporation, I think, is it's Origin? Origin Systems? Same people that made uh, Wing Commander, actually. Um, and that one over there is Robert Systems... Incorporated. Oh my gosh, I don't even remember anymore. But RSI, that's another, that's another corporation. So you'd be buying stuff from these corporations, and you might even be doing some work for them, right? Which would be pretty cool. So this 300i is more of a luxury vehicle. This, if those are the, uh, the the Chevys and the Subarus, you know, reliable, dependable, they, they get the job done. This is the BMW baby. This is obviously a craft that's going to be used for um, speed. You know, if you want to avoid conflict, you certainly probably can in this. If you want to avoid capture, this is probably a good ship for you. At least in the beginning. There's probably faster ships. But remember that these things can be upgraded, too. You can upgrade the engine, you can upgrade the guns. This does have guns, too. It does have some weaponry. There's one right here. Some sort of laser. And I'll, I'll get more familiar with these over time, I'm sure. So it can, it does have the capability of defending itself, right? You can defend yourself in it. It's probably a pretty good dogfighter, in fact. Now, as far as cargo goes, I think there's some sort of cargo down here. Um, I'm not really sure. It's so dark in this hangar. This hangar is darker than my other. I had, I actually had a deluxe hangar. It was much more brightly lit. You could see better. So I apologize for the darkness. There's not much I can do with it. There's no gamma control or anything in here right now. Um... But yeah, so this would be something that you might want to use as a, a mercenary or a bounty hunter, hunt somebody down, um, or just a dogfighter. Maybe you just want to go out and do escort missions and shoot down pirates. Or maybe just cruise the galaxy in style. Maybe you just want to go out and explore. It's a good ship for that, for 65 bucks. Certainly faster than uh, the Auroras. And a heck of a lot sexier looking. 
But if you want to sleep in your ship, then you'll need then you got to go with the Aurora, right? Because this does not have sleeping quarters, or at least it doesn't yet. It may in the future. And again, I'll I'll reiterate the fact that this is all alpha, pre-alpha, in fact. Um, so anything I say here and show you is certainly subject to change. So it, it may actually get a bed at some point. You know, maybe over here somewhere. And there's got to be some cargo here somewhere too, but I'm not exactly sure. Look at these panels. These will probably all uh, work in real time eventually, is my guess. It shows you the engines here. You know, so you'll be able to monitor the condition of uh, your systems through the use of these panels. This is all just placeholders at the time being. But look at the detail here. Unreal. It is just gorgeous. This is a super luxury cockpit. Yeah, looks like leather maybe. Is that leather? Could be. The panels, the instruments are just gorgeous. So 300i is another option if you don't want to spend a fortune. Of course, you can spend a heck of a lot more. Um, the most expensive ship in the single ship package is the Constellation. It's a multi-person ship. It's like it is like the Millennium Falcon, man. It's big. It's got four beds. It's got tons of cargo. And I'm gonna show you guys that later because that's that's exactly what I purchased. Honestly, and then I got buyer's remorse and handed it in for these because I, I <laughs> actually I wanted to make this video for you guys to show you what you get for your pledges. Um, and I, I, you know, I sort of, I kind of sort of want to work my way up. I don't mind starting with a little ship and then earning a constellation someday. It's kind of how I play. The constellation would be great if you have a multiplayer, if you're in a guild or a clan and you just want to throw a bunch of people in there and go off into space and do stuff together. And that's another consideration for me since I make content for YouTube. So, you know, that might make sense for me down the road. So we'll see. I don't know. And that's another thing to keep in mind is you can ha you can trade these in anytime you want. So you're not locked in. You'll never locked in. If you if you buy this for 40 bucks and you do some research, you know, you get your account. Get your account right now. That's the important thing. Get your, your Alpha Access account. You make the pledge. You're in, right? And then later on, you say, you know what? I think I want the 300i, or maybe you want something else. Maybe you want the Falcon dogfighter. Maybe you decide, I just want a dogfight. Then you can you can basically melt, they call it melting down. You melt this one down, and it goes into your, into your account on the website, and then you can apply those credits to a new ship. That's exactly what I do with my Constellation. I handed it in, I got $275 worth of credit, and I bought these guys. And I still have credit in there. And I can do that as many times as I want, as long as there are pledges available. And and that's, well, yeah, keep that in mind too. I'm not really sure if you're going to be able to do that once all the accounts are gone. So if you're going to fool around with multiple ships and try to see what suits you best, you should do it before those accounts run out because I don't know, you know, it's still up in the air whether or not we're going to be able to hand these in after that fact. Some people say yes, some people say no. You know, nobody really knows. Welcome to early access. Okay, folks, I think this is a pretty good ending point for this video. I, I really hope that I was able to help you make a decision as to whether or not Star Citizen is something that you want to pursue, either um, just by watching and watching it develop from the sidelines, or maybe actually making a pledge, and then I was able to uh, give you a, a decent idea of what these ships are all about and which one you might want to get with a pledge. So. That was my goal. I hope I accomplished that. And if you want to see more Star Citizen, um, just let me know. Put it down in the comments. Give the video a like. That's a good indication. That let me know. And uh, you know, I'll make more videos. I'll, I'll maybe take a closer look at some of these ships. Maybe um, trade these in and get some other ships so we can look at them all. And you know, kick the proverbial tires, as it were. And that way, uh, you know, we can all kind of learn together what this game is going to be about and what the ships are all about and so forth and so on. But, all right, hey, I got to go. It's uh, dinner time here, and people are giving me funny looks. So, all right, hey, we'll see you all soon. Hope you enjoyed, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.